Call the Finance Committee meeting to order at 6.30 p.m. We have uh, minutes here from the October 25th meeting. <clears throat> so, uh, Bruce, where it says next meeting agenda, what it should say is none, no regular meeting at this time of schedule. But we did schedule a pre-town special town meeting, which we didn't meet. So there's no meeting for that. We actually had two special town meetings scheduled and we didn't, we didn't, that we didn't have. Right. So we could make that change. <clears throat> you want to change your spelling of the, the word October? Also? Yeah, I get that. Really. <laughs> That's the French spelling. Of okay. <laughs> so you scratch that line after adjournment? What's that? Where it says next finance committee meeting is scheduled. Oh, yeah, not scheduled, not scheduled. It's, it's scheduled, scheduled and not scheduled. Cross off one. Draw a line through it? Scheduled. It is scheduled. Not scheduled. Not scheduled. Well, Why cross out scheduled. Draw a line through it. Take it out. Yeah, take the whole thing out. It doesn't have to be in there. No, right? it didn't. I was a carryover. No. Got it. Okay, so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn and. <laughs> I'll second it. <laughs> Okay, so let me just pass. This is. Wait a minute. We got to vote on the minutes. Oh, yes. I'll make That's a motion to uh, move the minutes as amended. I'll second. It's moved. Seconded. Any discussion? Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Opposed? One Did abstention. Any? One abstention. Oh. Uh, one, two, three, five, zero. Four, five, 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 zero. Five, zero. Sorry. Okay. So look, this duplicates stuff that we've already talked about. So, but there are a couple you weren't here, and I'm not sure who else was here. <clears throat> What we, you passed out the joint this meeting? is this is this this is what we talked about at the uh, joint meeting. Joint meeting, yeah. So, but John wasn't here, and I'm not sure. Were you here at the joint meeting? Yep. Somebody else wasn't here. Allie, and she's not here at this one. So, all right. So these are just projections. <clears throat> Found some use for my uh, for my TI-83 calculator. Good. So. Plug in, plug in the information and it gives us, it projects, uh, actually gives us an equation that we can use to project from. We'll see how it works. But when we talked about it, uh, the uh, typically we reduce uh, local receipts from the projected amount to be on the safe side. Yep. So Normal. what we talked about doing was uh, was taking a half a million dollars in free cash to offset the reduction. What do you mean? To, to just we're going to we're going to reduce this. Well, we would typically reduce these numbers from 2.5 million to about 2 million. Yep. So we're going to need the money. So we're just going to start off by taking half a million dollars of free cash and uh, backstopping the reduction by that amount, which is really a widow. The word is showing here that you're it taking it half a million. It doesn't. It doesn't. We will show it when we uh, yeah. put the And that's yeah. subsidizing local, the total. The total will still be all the revenue. We'll add 500k to it. To well, it. well, I didn't because we didn't. Re I used this number in here, but we're going to need 
we can't we're going to use the 2.476 million mm -hmm. in local receipts mm -hmm. correct but that's to, to use that would be i think he's filling in i guess John. foolhardy yeah. so uh, what we need to do is reduce that by basically 500,000 so that to offset that we're going to take 500,000 in free cash to start off the year just so that everybody knows that 1.2 million dollars we're going to need 500,000 uh, just to cover this this piece here so so we've got 700,000 wow at most if we take a sheet if we if what if we do reach it no 24 what if we do reach 2 million 746 we now have a million dollars in free cash. Is that right? Uh, no, because no, we won't see this until next October. I understand, but yeah. in October we'll have a well, million dollars. Well, if we don't use it, if we if we didn't use we'll the, use we can't use mm -hmm. any of it once. <coughs> once we, we dedicate five hundred thousand free yes. cash, it's gone. Yes. Until until October. Correct. So if the but if the budget if local receipts come in at 2.476 we now have a million dollars we would have half a million well you've no, taken 500 away if you took 500 away, away from when you million, added 500 to it you got a million dollars but we're going to use that 500,000 we're either going to use that we're going to use the 500 thousand we're going to use this 2.5 million so, so you, just, it's just taking a timing it difference. away you're not substituting the money Using no, it I'm just, just we are we are backstopping this because we can't be certain that we'll have the 2.5 million. I, I, yeah, I, I'm yeah. there. I got you there. Yeah. So this is it's typically what we do. We just aren't quite so upfront about it. We just <clears throat> the estimate we would normally use is to say well, we we will estimate two million. Right. <clears throat> and that's essentially what we're doing. But yeah, but we never backstop it. N well, never have. We've, well, in uh, a sense, we have. We just haven't called it that. We, we have used because free we've, cash to well, support we use the budget. Well, we free cash to, to support the budget, right? Well, we, we would typically to only reduce budget the, yeah. in developing the, the revenue side. We would typically reduce this by five hundred thousand. Yep. So I'm suggesting that we use this number, which does not reduce it by anything, but that we restrict that we hold back. Five hundred thousand in free cash to cover the potential shortfall. Okay, let's say we do have the shortfall and we can't use that money. No, we why? We don't know. We don't know if we have a shortfall until after we vote this. Well, that's yeah. why that's why we budget conservatively. They're, they're, I mean, really, the likelihood of us being under a million yeah. six. I know. Yeah, I know. so we, that's we, that's we, the we whole will, reason why you budget so We will so end up having to to uh, appropriate five hundred thousand in free cash towards the budget. Towards the budget, and that's what you're doing here. Because yeah, that's. But what I'm what I'm saying is that if we take it away, we know we've got one point two million now. Right. We're going to need five hundred thousand just to cover this. Fourteen point seven million dollar right. revenue source, to, to, yeah. and so it will leave us with it only leaves us with seven hundred thousand for all of the other. That's that's what I'm trying to get to. I understand, but you potentially could double your free cash next year. Double the five hundred thousand. That would be a bad problem to have, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. But that's, that's what, what we'd we want. Imagine what the well, expense is coming. How are we going to do that? Though? What, that's what we. Well, what did we do this year? Million two was what we had in free million cash. Million two, but what did we get in uh, local receipts? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, two point two million, something like that. And we probably right. estimated 2 .3. one point six, one point seven. Million. Oh, it's in. It's in here. It's in here. Two point two. Yeah, three, two point two. Hmm. So you can you can look in here someplace in the in the budget you will see what we're estimating for what we estimated in 19 for local receipts correct yes is that in here somewhere do you remember um, somewhere, I think. it's like a million six yeah that we had estimated right. 
in most of that, and I think we discussed at least in 18, the difference was because of um, permit fees? I believe so, but 18, not maybe, recollecting maybe, exactly. Maybe 19, we're banking on the same thing. Permit fees. Uh, pretty much where our, where our surplus, our overall estimate is exceeded by, I believe. Yeah, what, the point that I'm trying to get at is if we target this or identify this up front. You can't use, nobody else is going to be using it. Is that's right? correct. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I just don't want to end up next year, which I, I think it's a good idea, but it's, you see that I'll put it in stabilization. Then, then you locked it completely up. Well, then what happens uh, if we don't get the local, local receipts? Don't next get two year, million dollars. We don't hit the two million in local, or, or we get just two million in local receipts. Then we broke it even. <clears throat> right? We haven't made any next. No, yeah. no additional free cash will come to the town. But we will have five. It saved yes. five hundred thousand dollars in stabilization. If it comes in at one point eight, then we got two hundred thousand dollars shortfall. All right. I'd have to go back and look at it. Now I think if it comes in at if it comes in at two million, we will need the half million dollars just to cover the balance of budget. Balance the budget. Okay. Well, or we will we'll see, see when we get the budget. So we, yes. Yeah. Uh, I already have the police. Mm -hmm. You've got yours, or do you want to copy this? Uh, no, I have a copy. Thank you. I have a copy. Thanks, Bruce. So Brenda was kind enough to go through. <clears throat> take last year's it was a pretty Saturday. pretty simple process town right. meeting appropriation yeah, and you added 2.8 2.8% .8%. Uh, last year we were at 2.69% I think the year before that we were at a I think three point something uh, increase um, so 2.8 is not much and considering that fiscal year 2020 is going to be a leap year, it will affect all budgets that have salaries in them. By another By day. one day. Mm hmm So it'd be, instead of 2088, it's going to be 2096. Mm hmm yeah. Also, are the wages up 5%? Not 2.8. 2.8 right here. Yeah, but doesn't the salary scale, correct me if I'm wrong, 5%? Yep, 4 to 5, depending four to five. on where you fall. So, are we being a little optimistic on the 2.8? That's right. That's exactly right. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Well, you have a lot of budgets here that are, I mean, Town hall employees isn't going to amount to much, but but your school will, yeah. and the police department will. Mm -hmm. so we, we um, have, we're in negotiations with both of those right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we? We're starting. Oh, okay. And Trevor, you are the representative for the town of Deerfield for the elementary school. For the elementary school. And who's the representative for the town of Deerfield for the police department? Uh, I, I don't know if we pick which one of the three of us are going to be involved with that. Be as one of the Sutton? Yes. <clears throat> we counsel. Okay. Uh, so, are you also serving as the who's who's the representative? For Frontier. No, Deerfield. for uh, Deerfield Elementary School on the school? Deerfield uh, on the yes. Union yeah, Thirty Eight. I think I'm doing both because I don't know if anyone else. You get two Frontier votes? Regional, what they do is they take all four towns 
and amongst the four towns, they pick one person to go on the Frontier Committee. Right. The Frontier Committee, Scott Bergeron. Scott think, Bergeron from, from is the rep. So you get Frontier. two votes on that? One. On the elementary school? Yeah. One. Yeah. You got to vote one. You're doing both? Well, both. Well. Questions? Yes. OPEB funding. Mm -hmm. I went into this uh, thing, end of the month reports, the final from June. Yeah. And uh, OPEB funding. <coughs> They show ten thousand dollars in there, and then we got another thirty-two, thirty-five thousand that went into it. Mm -hmm. But my real concern is scams. Yeah, Why are we leaving scams with eight hundred thousand dollars in their account? Meanwhile, the town of Deerfield accepts a liability for all these people, and we can't back bill them. Right. Um, That's crazy. I think I think it'd be a great idea. You know, I'm, I'm glad you guys are you're, you're getting on board with OPEB and you're looking at these other departments. The, the bottom line is that that we should start Absolutely. with the Tri Town thing, that Absolutely. and a senior center. Great, love it. But right. you know something? That starts at the selectman level. That doesn't start at our level. Right. And, you, you and I just want to make sure that I express my viewpoint. It's, it's certainly been discussed. That's all I want to do, because if we don't do it. They said because it's a certain type of fund, enterprise fund, we cannot back bill them. Gotcha. So the thing is, we should have something in there for last year right now. We, we and didn't we just do a study which said that we average, the average payout that we have to save is $3,500 per employee. Mm -hmm. So yes. we should be billing them. The town of Deerfield should be billing yeah, them right absolutely. now $3,500 for each full-time employee. Which is nine. So what do we have to do to get this going? Do you need a written request? Sure, I'll take one. Okay. Um, How about a verbal one? <laughs> That'll work, too. It has, I think, I believe. So, uh, Skip, were you at the last Skims meeting? I think we brought it up there. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I don't remember anything. And then I know I've talked to Bruce about it. So yeah. it's it's on a radar. We're, we're definitely. Um, there was the first draft of the budget presented in the last meeting. Was it included? Uh, I don't think so. I'm off of that board right, now. You were, the, but, you were there when he presented the, the first draft. Were, were you there? No, I watched it. You watched it. I can't remember. I th I know we discussed it, but I don't think he had it in because we just brought it up at but that. But he was there was no money left at that point. No money. He had allocated all the funds in the first budget. It could be. Yeah. So it hasn't been accepted yet. So understood. Yep. So um, is Carolyn is a. Uh, Fiscal agent. fiscal agent for yes. the town. Yes. And will you pass that on to her? I would. That we need to have that included in the budget. Sure. Are you? Uh, and and may I ask? Can we start looking at all the other departments that way as well? That we've already. Oh, we also. No, this is should. nowhere near thirty-five hundred bucks. No, we, no, we, we should. Not. We no, should do it with the. Uh, sewer. We can't go back on skims though. Oh, uh, I got you. We but can, go can back. we look? Can we look forward on the other departments? We can go as back. Well? We can go forward. And put a million dollars in any year we want. Yeah, I don't. To back truck, to back everybody in. Gotcha. That's we're the not going to have that kind of money. For we should but probably look at, at the sewage wastewater treatment plant too. Yeah. Those are the two. Uh, enterprise. enterprise funds. funds. Yep. And by the same token, <coughs> we've got to include in the town budget at least the fifty percent. Yeah, exactly. We've got to include uh, money the, in the town budget to, to, to well, balance out the skims too. Mm -hmm. but we'll, yeah, that'll be right. Mm -hmm. Excited, you guys. Well, Scums is forward. really three towns. <coughs> Every yes. year that we accept the liability, right. Right. and we get nothing from the other two towns, we go back, go back more and more and more. Right. And that's something. I think I don't know if it's too late to put it in for last year already. Well, I, I think with OPEB, I, I would I would think with OPEB, this is this is a funding of future liability. I don't right. know that you. You have, you know, you have to go back a year, or you can't go back a year. It's, it's. Uh, I think you determine what you think that liability is going to be, and and you agree that this is the amount that they're going to contribute in this fiscal year, and then this is the amount they're going to contribute in the next, right? I mean, that's. 
I don't know. So, how Brenda, you what you're saying, you could front load it a little bit for the first couple of years. Mm -hmm. to, right, just like, just like right. we need to do the same thing. <coughs> right. And then from that point on, adjust. But how do you right. figure out what do their cost share average. is? It was an estimate you know? of $3,500 each person. At the, at the, I mean, we don't know. Right. It was the estimated. The person that came to said 35 3500 that's per person. person. Right, that was how much it kind of went up every year, right? Yeah. We were thinking yeah. total was was a lot of money every year. It keeps increasing. And, then and it here, again, that was based on that you are going to set a policy. Oh, yeah. That's that my is because part part of that 3500 is, is actually a reduced figure in the essence that the calculations were made on a reasonable plot that was being invested mm -hmm. with a decent return, right, and we have to offset that. So that thirty-five hundred dollars is actually a subsidized figure. Correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a lot of work still needs to be done on that. Right. Pick a fund, pick a manager. Yeah, no, I, right, but I'm just saying as far as uh, you know, that the thirty-five hundred dollars is really a low figure mm -hmm. since we're not don't have a fund uh, a pot that's being invested. Right. 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 That's right. But that, getting those that returns. could be um, if you we could adopt that as a policy. That way, it would affect all town employees. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think before we say we we're going to do that, I think the first thing we're going to do is get the count of all the employees. Yeah. Multiply it out by the thirty-five hundred. I see what we got, and see if we even got enough in stabilization to do it. <laughs> That's a lot of money. That's we have a, a lot of money. employees. About 37 or eight, 35 employees, I and think. We'll have to get creative, I think, in the future on, you know, hot, hot. where we can start pulling money from, whether we, you know, if we ever get marijuana or if we look at other revenue streams, you know, a lot of people use food tax or other things to just supplement from different areas to try and build up that in the future. Yeah, but school employees, too. With $3,500, well, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, 40 employees, you're talking 140000 a year. It's not 40. 50, 80, it's it's, it's 80 school something. employees. Okay. Hundred forty thousand. Well, it's a hundred school. It's got a hundred school employees or thereabouts that yeah. need to go in there too. Yeah, counting all the non-union. But the question is, are we responsible for the OPEB for the teachers? Yes. And yes. They need I didn't think we were. I thought that was a state responsibility. No, no. no. only for Frontier. Right. Well, no, it's not state there either. That's Frontier's responsibility. That's right. Frontier's right. Frontier. Right. Right. It's not ours. The, uh, the teachers' pensions. Uh, our state responsibility. That's right. right. That's why I thought the OPEP but not, would be. But not the OPEP. No, OPEP's the other health insurance. Oh, health insurance. Yeah. So, no, it's, yeah, it's, again, we should look we at, um, then definitely we should look at DES adding it to their budget. Mm -hmm. question, question for you. Uh, in looking through this debt service, you probably already told me why you didn't put debt service in there for the FY 2020. So, so I... I only included Oxford because Oxford is the only debt service we have that's not um, excluded debt. Okay. And since we were comparing non-excluded revenues, revenues exclusive, mm -hmm. ex you know what I'm Exclusive saying? Exclusive, though. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> um, I wanted to compare apples to apples, so I did not include the excluded debt in there for that particular but reason we have for it fiscal in there 20. For 2019. Yeah, it's it's in yeah. that budget. So I just I just brought the budgeted numbers over so I know that's not an apples to apples when you when yeah. you look at the expense yeah. on that on that um, category. So what what I really wanted to do here was to take a look at uh, what we just based on two or three percent, two point eight in this case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If budgets increase two point eight percent What's the grand total going to look like? And how much money did we project that we would have? And, and, and keep in mind the warrant articles that are voted separately, we chose to include um, the reserve fund because mm -hmm. yeah. that's really operating, the skims because that's operating. And see, in the past, we've always used free cash just for that, right, mm -hmm. for both of mm -hmm. those. And then we included the Smith Volk in case there's just a just a I threw that in there just in case we might yeah. have a Smith Volk mm -hmm. student. Right. Just as a here's something for a starting point for our discussions. The uh, even even though we've used capital requests, 
uh, we've tended to fund with free cash, those are typically, those are annual recurring expenses. We have none yet for this year. Pardon? No, words, we have all the $15 million is none projected yet. Correct. No, there's no OPED, there's no stabilization. Correct. So all these things are. No snow and ice overage, no which you know there will be. All these things that are blank. Right. Uh, sewer payroll is just one sixth of, of, we don't care about wastewater treatment salaries. That's all user fee, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. That's all supported by user yeah. fees. So that's not an issue. Right. No. Enterprise fund's not an issue. So the first three on that, Smith Vogue might be Mr. Transportation. Police salary overage. Now that was just as that, uh, that was that was from a contract year in fiscal eighteen when they when they signed the new contract. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I learned something the other day when I was going through uh, the budgets from last year and not realizing, you know, what the Quinville actually meant to the town of Deerfield. Mm. What's the what? The what the Quinville actually meant to the town of Deerfield. Oh, yeah. A lot. A lot. $75,000 for my employees. Bonuses yearly. And the state doesn't reimburse the state that for does that not, anymore. state ended the 50-50 reimbursement in 2010. We carry that total reimbursement for associates, bachelors, and masters, I believe. That's the original program. Whether we carry that um, yearly, and that increases on their, their, based on their wage. Yeah, so that's going to go up whatever, gonna go up, I was whatever gonna say, the agreement is. We're, we're paying 3300 3361 every two weeks right now. So if you take that times 26, that's 87,000 that well, we're paying just in this. 74. Oh, okay. Do you have in the local receipts, do you have the skims, what we bill skims for admin? That doesn't come in in local receipts. What is, what is it's it just a transfer. It's, it's just a transfer of cash from the enterprise fund to the um, general fund. But it's less cash we have to spend. So we're, I guess I'm wondering where that shows in here. It, it doesn't show anywhere in, in here. It's not, it's not going to. Um, it, it is a funding source for our budget. Um, so that is, let's see, wait a minute. Hmm. Take a look and see if we offset. Yeah, see yeah. The, yeah it should yeah. either be an offset or a revenue source, right? I mean, how much are we talking? Are we talking, is it enough to talk about? I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. yeah. How much well, is it? This, in this fiscal year, it was $70,000. $70, so it's going to be a transfer into our budget, into our general fund, but you're right, it is not included in this. No, you're right, it's not we'll, included in our, in our revenue goals. it's going to be this year. What's that? It will go down for FY20 because we were charging office space, um, we were charging light mm -hmm. part of the heat, light electricity, air conditioning for this building. That that formula exists when they had an office in, here. Yeah. When they when we had an yeah. office here, so it will uh, be reduced a little. Correct. Um, I don't think by much because I think I uh, okay. there I were know. adjustments I made to it for that. I, yeah, I'd have to but look at that. That's again. fine. But there is going to be some reduction. It won't be seventy again. Actually. That's for the administrative charge. How about the fact that they're in our building? Yeah. How does that affect? We got thirty-six thousand dollars a year mm -hmm. set aside. Thirty-six. Oh, um, a year set aside year. for maintenance of that building only. Nope, it can't be used. But by where the is the money going? Into a maintenance account for that building. I don't think. No, 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 no. No. If if Mom. we're going to get revenues from from skims, which yeah. we haven't yet. That's going into the general fund. Okay, then. And and, and then, then, the then it's going to come out. General fund. Pardon? It's going to come out. And then I thought we we're going to take part of that money and put yes. it into 
a future deferred maintenance well, that's, yeah. I, I don't think that's even possible. Okay, I, that's I'd have to check with DOR, but I don't think that's a legal meeting. thing to do. That's what was said. Can you set okay. up a, um, a stabilization, a stabilization fund. fund and fund that for future work on that building? Well, if you do that with your with your town meeting, you you right. move money right. to right. stabilization. Right. stabilization. So you should have a separate so, stabilization So that's fund what you do. It. The revenues come into your general fund, yeah. right. and then you make choices. How you want to appropriate that. So that 36, on, on where you want to put that free cash. Mm -hmm. So or, that will, will need to be an article on annual town meeting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that was the whole idea behind that. So. Okay. I just want, it, yeah. it was pretty clear that that was not the way it was going to go. And if that's the case... And, I, and I have not seen a dime yet. We have not... Right. We don't have a but signed there's contract. No sign con there's no signed contract last week, and they didn't? Hmm? I don't think they signed them at the last meeting. I mm, haven't seen anything. No, in we presented at the last two, last and two not meetings. everybody's there, so they didn't want to act on it. Yeah. So. Oh, so why don't we turn the heat and electricity down and <laughs> see how long it takes for the sign? <laughs> Good idea. I mean, so it's free living yeah. for at least three or four, five, or six months right now. Right? We can retro bill for that. Mm. Oh, we got to be able. To, we're going to be able to collect thirty-six for the year. Once yeah, I, I well, so. there's there's fifty thousand in rent in the budget. Yeah, because they used to pay Sunday right. and no. Whiteley, and I think they're still paying them. They cut the no, no not thirty-six. No, they're not. They're not paying anybody else anymore because everything's now housed over here. Yeah. Um, that fifty thousand was to cover uh, rent put plus um, uh, electricity, you know, because he doesn't have any of that budgeted mm -hmm. separately so in his budget. So all that's supposed to come out of the thirty-six out of the rent money. Pardon? All that is supposed to come out of the rent money. Mm. The lease, money. well, yeah, whatever maybe, we get for a lease, it can't. It's supposed to be self-supporting. They're going to pay all oh, the utility bills. Yeah, they're going to pay the utilities on. Yeah, they, they pay, they pay, the, utilities they pay on the utilities on anyway. Okay. From, from what I understand, so that, that contract the 50, sets it up such that they're the responsible for anything Where's inside that? the building plus the utilities. Yep. And we're responsible for anything outside, outside the, building, the building plus, of course, the building itself. Right. 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 And maintenance. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. So, what uh, if I'm Reading this correctly, the figure that you see on what would be page three mm -hmm. of fifteen million dollars, fifteen million dollars, thirty-two thousand, mm -hmm. fifteen million, thirty-two thousand, thirty-three thousand, uh, is the total of all of the expenses which we would typically use the uh, appropriations for, and at this point give or take, we're about $300,000 short. Mm -hmm. That's even without capital requests, right? right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. But and that includes this is the putting, first time we've ever done this, so. Right. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it yeah. is. 300000 short for FY20, mm -hmm. and we've already put in 500000 but you do have you have a good point with the uh, indirect costs because that'll make up about a hundred thousand of that what? with with the scams, scams, scams. and um, the wastewater treatment plant and the senior center. That's probably offset the payroll increase. that's not on here. <laughs> right. It's it probably about washes out. Probably. Well, well, we'll have to see about the payroll so, increase. Uh, the, uh, well, the, over, the overall payroll, I mean, yeah, never mind. Not even you know what, what we but we could probably, yeah. <laughs> so 15 million, right? What? So 15 million? 15 yeah. million. We're going to bring in, we're going to expend 15 million and bring in 14. 14. And we've already put five in. Correct. So we're 800,000 short. Well, really, realistically, we're eight hundred thousand short. If we hadn't put the five mm -hmm. in, we would be eight hundred thousand short. You put huh? You put five in. Yes, but we, if you go back and you take a look at what we appropriated last year for the budget, we appropriated, we had a one point eight million dollar free cash figure last year, and we carried over three hundred thousand. Yep. 
We put five hundred thousand into stabilization. Yes. So that's eight hundred thousand. We used a million dollars to fund the budget last year. Pretty much. Yeah. In free cash. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so that's the, between the difference Skip. and the one million we have. Do you have a printout of the sources? To summarize is it? This? Yeah, is there a yeah, but anything that I guess what? add these up ourselves? No, on the back page, they were added up. Last item on that totals, total revenues. Oh, okay. Yep. Sorry. Yep. So, we, we have some of a predicament. So we're a million short. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, wouldn't go that far. Well, we're 300,000 short. We're 300,000 short. And we have 700,000 free cash. We, we, uh, one of the things that you're going you're gonna to raise give or take 700,000 for, for the uh, wastewater treatment plant to go to pay for the operation of the wastewater treatment plant. Mm -hmm. but that there, there are some other, in those, I mean, it's not showing there, so don't look at that. No, don't look at this here. thing and say, oh, we got, we're going to have to have another million dollars in, in funding. It's true, we will need another million dollars, mm -hmm. but 700,000 is, is going to come from uh, sewer reserve funds for the payment right. of the cost of the sewer plant. I understand. So if you add the seven yeah. in, it's an, it's an ex you, expense. Though. I mean, these are expenses. So for six hundred thousand. Where? On page three. On this page here. If you look, there's nothing showing for FY twenty. There's actually nothing showing for FY. 19 either but correct you know, because it's now an enterprise fund an so enterprise it isn't going to run fund. through the through the, right. the local receipts yeah right. yeah so, so in the self-funding so it's so, why, so we can't be talking about the income from no we can't be either. talking about well, no right. i'm saying there's an expense that we will vote at town meeting there's a and there will be the revenue from yep. the sewer reserve to cover that yeah, they're yeah. offset. It, right. it, it is. It's just direct offset. We don't make any, well, we yeah. exactly. would so make no, no a difference. few dollars on it from the covering the cost of, of uh, Barbara and Brenda's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also Kevin's. That's in, not the indirect cost. There is indirect cost in it? Oh, yes. I knew, I knew uh, this year it was about 28000 <coughs> So I guess, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, when you look at this, I wouldn't get overly yep. concerned at this point. Uh, but it, it's just something to know. Uh, the big concern is all the expense we need to do next year. Well, I mean, we, we do have that, and we've always used it in the past, $700,000 in, in free cash. Yeah. Uh, and we will use some of that. Mm -hmm. We typically use it for the snow and ice. Well, did we use it for snow and ice last year? I guess so. Mm -hmm. uh, we had used it for stabilization last year yeah. and the year before. And OPEB. We yeah. used it for OPEB. Yeah. This year we're using Capital stabilization. OPEB being funded by a different source. Capital request. You, yeah. you don't have any idea on that yet? Not yet. There is there. There'll be some of us. Uh, I don't, we don't have a figure yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. is it just pulling from, I got you. Still in the process. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Well, when um, our portion of the skims is that correct, 336? Yes. Yeah. That's the number that... Uh, the I, I just took a flat 2.8% and added it. That's 327 all I did. is what was in the budget. I, I, think, I think that's pretty close. Is it? Oh, yeah. okay, good. Because I have not seen a budget, so... I could, I could go pull the budget. No, but it, yeah. it's fine. There was, fine. there was an increase of minimal increase mm -hmm. from last year. Okay. What did we, uh, yeah, what did we ask the department heads? Ambulance. And a vehicle. Yes. And, and, uh, but they, they've taken that uh, uh, chase vehicle. Have we right. asked the, sorry, you're done. Have we asked the department heads for their budgets? And yes. yes. 
do we give them they like have until guidelines as to how much increase we no they no would just stick just to? level services um, level services and those are due by January third. How come they're not asking them uh, for two budgets, a level services as well as a level budget? I have no idea. Make it kind of Select complicated. Do that. Well, what do you mean by what do you mean level budget? No, same as last year. With an explanation of what services they would have to cut if they kept a level budget. No increase. Because we're going to have to start doing that. Uh, you can't keep level level service allows them. No, I understand. I didn't know what he meant budget, by level right. budget. Level budget level means budget same, same, means same dollar amount as same last dollar year. Amount, what, what's what's going to have to be What's going to have to be next? Right. Because you can't keep spending three to five percent, taxing at two and a half. You can't even, or even two point eight percent. You can't. It's just, math just doesn't work. You only can live on the, the credit thing, card. Well, the, for only, so the only long. thing that helps is new growth, I was and just which, say, is, which has thing. been very good the last few years. It's yeah. been very good, and it's also become our detriment because part and parcel of this, you know, the you know, yes. we're, we're wealthy community is because we've had tremendous new growth. Right. And as I said, the, the, the new growth has been very heavy in personal property, which depreciates extremely fast. Yes. And because a lot of it is high tech stuff that has a five year depreciation, and that all that dollar, is, is, so it's not a long term uh, thing. And it concerns me is I'm not going to be around to uh, see down the road is is these pilots that we're negotiating too, because it's been, it's going to be a boom for 20, 20 years, years yeah. uh, for both the land value and the uh, personal property. But year 21, boom. The land value drops, and so does that. So yep. year 21, that money all that's going to be made up. All, but that money, whatever pilot money we get, can't be used to balance the budget. That, what do you mean? It has to be set aside to do something else. Uh, what else are you going to do? It can pay be open. Budget. Pay open. There you go. Perfect. Thank well, you, well that's what that's exactly what I was thinking. Is Great it, idea. Go into it, the OPEP for uh, as, we as can't part, part spend of the that contribution money. or something because. Where'd you hear that? I never heard that. What? You can't spend pilot money? It's only good for so long. Then you got to come up with it after the year it's 21. 20 years. Uh, yeah, what 20 pilot years. money are you talking about? Like uh, solar. 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 Solar's solar. 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 Right now. Marijuana. Yep. That'll only be five years. Five years on. Well, don't you negotiate every year. five right. years? <laughs> <laughs> so for you, you, know, you, know, you, you can know, use it, but you know, shouldn't. I can't think can adopt this. You can use it, but you <laughs> oh, should Of course you can use it. I think John is thinking that you can't. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think that's where the... Oh. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you said you can't money. use it. I said we shouldn't use it. What the hell are you going to do with that? I think he was... You should use it, I think, is the term. That shouldn't I, for, I apologize for, for the word I use, John. <laughs> you can use that. Of course we can use it. And Thank we can you. use it for whatever we want. We agree now. Okay. <laughs> but but you're right. And but you'll pay dearly it, later. That's right. That's what it's coming down to. But I agree with right. yeah. You know, do it on So it should not, be used to, that. should not be used to fund the I, annual and budget. And I followed it up saying it should not be used to balance a <laughs> budget. Right. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of things we shouldn't be doing. To balance a budget, but we do it anyway. I know we should have a free cash uh, if we didn't, policy we, relative to what we're going to do with free cash too. We do have a free cash policy. Balance the budget. No, <laughs> free cash policy has been within the finance committee to maintain at least five hundred thousand or five percent of our annual budget. So if we have a fifteen million dollar budget, we should have three quarters of a million dollars free cash. We don't. And we don't. We don't. And I've been yeah, saying, even them. though that keeps going up every year, I would settle for a half million dollars. Because a half million dollars, if we had a hurricane come through here and rip the roof off, we could still fix it. So, you know, you got to have some common we're sense. We're not self-insured. We are to a certain extent. So anyways, that's just to, just to start the process off, give you an idea of where because we've never really no, right. added up at the beginning of the year. What we've got for revenues. I think it's a good idea. No, we uh, wait to ask, let everybody put mm -hmm. their wish list then. Yeah. And, and then we say yes, it, yes, yes. Isn't the level budget, what was appropriated for 2019? It was not no. level. No. 
Just no, 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 no. We have, we said give us 2.8 percent. Keep it like keep a. What do you want for level service? Level service. And then said. Bruce what? said he also wants to see a level budget. Isn't the level budget what was appropriated the prior year? That's what the so, that's, right, that's right. If they, it's if the same that's thing, right? Mm -hmm. So we should go back and say, if it's going to be a level budget, what are you going to cut? That's part and parcel. Or would you do a level budget plus two and a half percent? Why two and a half? Because that's the maximum. Because that's the maximum. Yeah. That would that would make sense too, Brenda. That's not a bad thought. So. What is it? I didn't hear. Uh, uh, level two budget two plus two and a half percent. Yeah. Is if what we, you're if we sent allowed to increase out budget message to the uh, yeah. oh I see mm -hmm. the ball yeah, already out. Mm -hmm. and that was cut. level service mm -hmm. that we level service this is what Wendy requested. was Wendy and the selectmen were asking for did the selectmen write that up and send it out no no Wendy wrote it up and I sent it out with their budgets why don't we get some high hitters there well and have them sign it and send it out now mean more. Depending You've got authority. You've got to learn to use that. <laughs> I need to sit with you a little longer. <laughs> Some training. Yeah, you're Some training. Train. That's why I brought a pulpep. I saw that as a I, glaring Thank you very much. <laughs> and, you know, we're always looking for money. Yeah. That 9 times 3,500, that's a pound $31,500 that if we ignored it, we'd still have the liability. You're right. What was that? 31. 31,500 oh, okay. for the nine employees from scams. Scam. Now, the question is, do they really have nine employees? Because I thought they were running a double shift in the morning. So are they up to 10 or 11? No. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. It's it's either eight or nine, but you say mm. nine. Okay. Yeah. I'm, uh, well, I'm if we got 25 or 30,000, it's better than nothing. They have nine employees. <laughs> Director plus you don't want one of well, I thought we were going to be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot we haven't talked about that yet. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't need one. That's so it, yeah. this is this is the Oxford loan. Oh. Yeah. And what's the balance at this point? Mm. Um. Three hundred and eighty-five thousand. Three hundred eighty-five thousand, and we're going to pay in February. We've got a payment of ninety-five thousand. What did I write on your? I, I don't know. You, you yeah, wrote after, someplace, and, and that's so not what where I is copied, my little sticky? So. The little sticky right there on your. The little sticky. What does okay. it say? Read the sticky. Read the sticky. Let me put my glasses down. Two hundred eighty-five thousand after an FY nineteen payment. Correct. So that's how much we'll owe. After FY eighteen. After after 19. FY nineteen. FY19. Yeah. So we'll That's be making. That's the one that will be paid uh, in February. In February. So, right. So that we includes. That includes we've already got that money in the budget for this year. We we the, yes, that uh, that payment. That well, one payment. We actually, we actually made those payments. Right. So we owe so 285000 we, we will owe 285000 after we pay the 95000 yes. Balance 285000 So we've sold two lots. Yeah, we this sold everything. Well, yeah, and all that money There's got nothing. applied against the loan. All of it got applied. So we all of it did. We reduced it down to 285. Correct. That's, that's what these notations are on here, right? The yep. payoff yep. because of the sales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what I would like to do is use free cash if we have it available to uh, close out the loan. So that's 285,000 plus small amount of interest that we, we and go pay. ahead and close it out before and the end of the fiscal close year. Close it out before the fiscal year is over. And then free that cash from this year that we have right now? Or right. That's yeah. what his he's suggesting. Yeah. So two eighty five plus five is how would we get the free cash? So we're certified well, we've got, October. We've got eight hundred thousand free cash. We've got one point three million, one point two. You're reserving a half million, so yep. you take out so two hundred eighty five and you're down to half a million. Right. But you, you can't spend. Right. We agree we're not gonna spend it. No, that's what the half million that we have that we're using. But that's what we're saying. That's what I said. Um, that's what his, exactly. I agree. We want the whole money of the year. We want to at least a half a million. Yeah. Right. We, so we only carry over 300,000. I understand. That's because, we right. because we had to. Right. Because it was all Because we had to. No. I understand that. I know that. Yeah. 
That's the chance. So that is a chance. Yes. Well, I'd it like to keep at least so. 500,000. Oh, we are. And free cash. So that means no capital expenditures will be approved. No. No, we've got 800,000 we can use. I think it's too early to even get into that discussion. Yeah, Let's see some numbers. I, wish the I, time agree. Was I agree with Bruce. <laughs> it's late. Let's wait and see how I the agree. year falls out now. We'll agree and we'll discuss it later. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah. right. you're proposing to use the payoff loan free cash. Can we get one of these updated from the bank with the, the show? I, ha I have no idea. I, I don't. I'm sure she could. But well, we well, could probably do it ourselves. This, this is what, what? This is the amortization schedule. And we've got roughly four hundred and fifty or five hundred thousand that we we paid on the loan. That's why instead of instead of owing eight hundred and fifty, uh, we're going to owe well. Yeah, I know, but I'd like to, to that. be so nice to see it in print and to see what the annual payments are going to be. All you do is cross off the bottom payment. <laughs> yeah. If you take your ninety-five times four, yeah, you're right. All you do is move it down here. And add a few thousand dollars interest. Huh? You got it. Move it right down here. This oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You got to listen to chicken scratch. It says 285, but that says 280. It's close enough that you just go to the bottom three lines because the, the annual payment's not going to change. You're still going to pay the 95. 95, correct. yeah. yeah. All right, correct. Okay, so you just go to the third line. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Plus yeah. the minor interest. interest. So it's, it's the, the 95. It's 95 times. Three payments of ninety-five thousand each. Right. That's a two eighty-five. Right. Right. You know what you can do next time, Brenda? Was because those were the higher interest. Just take the three payments and highlight it in yellow. That way we know it. What's that? To take the three payments of ninety-five and highlight it in yellow. That way, that's updated. Okay. <laughs> well, in that next case, time, hopefully we so, won't have it. So we got. In that case, I'm, I'm with you here. The interest on yeah. here should be less. That's what I say too. Yeah. These are payments they paid. Well, that one wouldn't first. change. So we have no, these, because we'll be paying that one in February. The one oh, I see you're talking about for 2020. No, right. Well, yeah. for 2020, if we're going to pay it off in 2019, well, you're not going to have any of that in 2020. So you're going to take 130,000 out of your projected budget. That's that's why Skip is proposing this. Right. The, uh, the, the interest payment that's showing on I don't here remember. For, for February, this other one is one that, that I wasn't is not correct really involved with. Well, I'm just saying if you take that, if you took that off for that, thousand, so the interest, yeah, the interest is would be less. Plus the Probably. Payment. Three Probably. payments don't equal the sum of these two. How much did we sell the he wants a, a definite. No, uh, well, I think the numbers are on there. Well, I no, think we should be able to call. I was going to say that sure we're spending a lot of time sure discussing what it should be. Yeah. Why don't we just get on the phone and call Greenfield Co-op and ask yeah, them for a new schedule? So, so 550 off this I can't imagine they here. couldn't just so like whip it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, actually, it should be off. Yeah. I'll fifty. So, yeah, 200. Yeah. So it's Whatever. roughly a 95 times or four payments. Yeah. yeah. And we've already got the funding for one. Yeah. So we got three $95,000 payments left, plus the interest. Mm hmm. Makes sense, though. Thank you. This, this, we just have to convince the select. I wonder how much that land is worth. This right? left. Well, if we you know, have the money, we all have access, have projects and we, we can spend it. Yeah. I agree with you. It's like us yes, paying off that left loan, the uh, energy loan that we paid off at a school. Yep. I'm sure yes. it's not worth what we what we paid. So that gives us ninety five thousand. We <laughs> can spend someplace else. <laughs> yes. Or reduce the three hundred thousand. Or actually one hundred and thirty five thousand because it's forty thousand dollars in interest. So one hundred thirty five instead of being three hundred short now we're only one sixty five. Yes. Right. But right. still short. Yeah. But the point is, we're going to be short until April anyway. <clears throat> and then in April, miraculously, it'll all come together. And then we'll say, where can you cut this thing out? You're going to have to turn around and say to Kevin, no, you can't have another new $135,000 truck. You've had three for the last three years. Enough, it's, enough. It's in the plan. So let me ask you a question. We'll get to talk to that guy over there who gives out all the new trucks every year. That's right. No more new trucks. All right, what else or, you or, to we'll, or we'll get out to Toys mm -hmm. R Us and get one of those new trucks and you can give it to them. 
Yeah. Capital <laughs> committee only recommends you guys vote it. <laughs> no, we don't. No, no. we don't. We no, don't no, select board vote. Yeah. 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 Select right. vote it. We, I don't know. It depends which bylaws you're looking at. Only. What else we got to do before we go oh. adjourn? It's a Make a motion. What, uh, well, what? before we do that, what what would your thoughts be on getting no. with the selectmen's uh, consent, getting department heads together and showing them what we've got for revenues and saying, and here's why you need to keep your budgets down to two or two and a half percent. Okay, we can do that. How many departments do we have? Three or four. And they're, they're not going to show up. Well, no, we'll, we'll Frontier is not going to show up. The elementary school is not going to show up. Frontier, we that's, know. That's Frontier doesn't matter to us anyway. It's yes, nothing. it does. Of course it does. Assess is three hundred and sixty-eight thousand dollars next year, more over and above the budget. Mm -hmm. But they're going to be concerned about the four towns, not us, right? It's our share. Of I'm their concerned about the capital. fact that we spend seventy-five percent of all of our money goes to schools. Right. I don't care how you cut it, right. whether it's Smith School, Elementary, Frontier Regional or the industrial college up there. I don't care what you call it. Education is roughly three quarters of every dollar we earn. So all I want to do is, <coughs> if we're going to talk to all the departments, let's start with the schools, oh, absolutely. because they have the ability to control the budget more than the 25% does. I like skip idea, invite them all. And if they don't show up, they don't show up. I but the invitation was extended and Okay. You I know, if it comes down it. to it comes down to us when we try. discuss, when we, it is worth a try. It's worth a try. I think you would see the uh, acting the superintendent. Superintendent show will come down. Yeah. What about right. school committees, or at least the Deerfield representatives? Yeah, school committee because they Whether approve their we, budget. I think you're going to be in a, be in good shape this year. I think I believe. I mean, we're starting that process now, okay. but I think. Yeah. Again, I think, you know, I think year, you you know, most other of the, than there are capital expenses that they, they definitely need. Um, we're talking about Deerfield. Though. You're right, well, Deerfield that, only. That's what I'm talking that about. That question becomes, that mm -hmm. if yeah. we go through this exercise and we end up, let's just you know throw a number out. Let's say we end up being a million dollars short of what we've got for revenue. All right. Then it's up to the selectmen to make a decision on what they're going to do. Yep. Are you mm -hmm. going to ask the town for some sort of an override yes. or debt exclusion if it makes sense? Yep. Or what do they cut out? If it's a million. And you, know, you, guys, you guys all know, you know, the elephant in the room is your sewer. I mean, you've got some major expenses we got to do next year. we got to get started on that, and we can't ignore it. That we can do debt exclusion on, so that yeah. one is... Okay. Uh, yeah. And yeah. That's, you got some debt payments, you know, I mean, there's... Well, it's going to sure. impact, right? It's going to impact one way or the other. I hear it what is. you're saying, Trevor. Talking, I mean, but if, well, you've got about a million bucks worth of engineering design, design right? Yeah, but that could, that's allowable under the under the uh, uh, loan. The USDA, USDA loan. loan. Well, I know, but you've got to pay it first and then get it back. So you what percent? Tomorrow. What percent is in the tax rate, for lack of a better word? What's that? Of the million, what percent do the non sui users have to pay? Well, based on the law, it's 25 percent. 25 percent. As far as I know. I mean, whether that gets challenged or changed or whatever, but just at. Well, you know, if you're getting USDA law, 45 percent could be long. Correct. A grant. So you appropriate, you take that 45 percent and the remaining 55 percent, 25 be paid by the mm -hmm. taxpayers. So we use is pay thirty percent. What? Or that could or the or the tax. That's 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 the way it is right now. What is it? We borrow thirty six million dollars and we get a USDA USDA loan for all of it. Yep. Town residents responsible for twenty five percent of that by law. Mm -hmm. We get forty five percent grant from USDA. The remaining money is 30 percent. 30 percent is paid by the sewer users. Unless you want to prorate the grant to the I users in the town. I think it that's should be. Reasonable. 
It's the same capital expenditure. Well, wouldn't the 25% be to the general fund, so all residents would be paying that yeah, 25%? So the, yes, so you use yes. double Inclu pay. Including the sewer users? Sewer yes. users. Right. Yes. So, pay twice. So, right. So They'll pay twice. Right, percentage-wise, right. Percentage-wise. Uh, let's go back to what Skip was saying. Yeah. My thought process on this, the more players you can get involved, with sitting down discussing this, Skip, I think at least the lines of communication start to open yep. up. Yep. People here, everybody hears the same thing, including the school committees. I, I yep. think, I think the school committees would be. Uh, uh, They'd be our prize if we could get them. Right, but I think we should extend an invitation and say, look, yeah, you know, cover letter, an of, this by is person by duty position. If you're elected to the school committee, you get a personal letter saying you should be there. We're inviting you mm -hmm. so that right. you can dis we so can discuss we can dis and learn about the future of Deerfield and the taxes and the amount of money that's got to be required. Right. Because if you don't educate them, right. they're just going to sit there and rubber stamp yeah, everything. They don't right. understand. Yeah, they, they don't and, understand. It, and it may it turn out to be a good. It takes time to educate. Uh, right. A good opportunity for everybody to sure. get on the same page and mm -hmm. really assess is this, I think, was a great step. Yeah, we so, haven't done so this before. I understand when we say that, you know, there is a limit, mm -hmm. two and a half percent, whatever it is, there's a mm -hmm. limit out there as to the, the money that's available. Mm -hmm. So right. we can pretty much show to everyone, look, last year we brought in $14,500,000 in revenues. Or this this year and next year we anticipate bringing in fourteen million seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's three hundred and fifty thousand dollars more than last year. That's all we've got in net new money. Yeah. Plus, and that's not going to cover half, all the requests for the increases. Two and a half and new growth, right? No, that's new growth Everything is in there. Is included, right? New growth is included. in. Oh, that's right. Yes, it is. It is? Yep. Yes. Yep. 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 So we can, that can increase by no more than two and a half. What is, well, we have a limit right now. We have a set. What is, what is the? Two and a half percent over your current real estate. Right. Do so we know taxes. what that, do we know what that number is? Yeah. We, well, we. They we, keep passing out to us all the time. We, no, we don't. No. But. We don't we have can, that number. That's I, pretty. I that's know what it is. Fairly. But I, I, can't recite it off the no, top no, of my head. No, no, that's not. But so, how does that affect? We could go. We can increase that fifteen million seven fifty by X amount of dollars. Is that correct? You mean the levy limit? Levy limit. Mm. We got a lot of room. I know. Oh, I, mean, I thought a lot. Uh, of room. We we have that's like seven seven million. I think. Come back. We but that's that. the two and a half yeah. override. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Over if we go over there. No. Absolutely right. We're doing very well. If we go over up to this number here. Two and a half. No, different, different restriction. Right. Just yeah, it, it's it's really not these numbers. It's, not these it's numbers. what we have, what we would have to increase taxes by yes. in order to balance the budget. Yes. Right. So we have in in resources and revenues. You can't exceed two and a half percent plus new growth to do that. Yeah. Um, no, I you know this this fourteen. If you notice, projection, again, projection, $14,744,000 that is approximately $400,000 more than we got the year before. Yeah. $392,580. Again, that's projection. So. So the actual figures may be slightly more or less. different, more or less. But that's the grand total, 400,000 in, in new revenues. I understood. That we anticipate. But that's, we, we can tax some additional money to get to uh, let you uh, tax, we can, this 471, could be seven hundred thousand. Don't we have? I don't know what new growth is. In this. 
You explained about the proposition two and a half yeah. based on two and a half percent of last year's yeah. revenues plus, plus new, new growth. growth. Right. Okay, I think the new growth had been where, what, Brenda? Somewhere around 150, 160. Pretty which close. Which had been phenomenal. It so, has been. Uh, so, but if you take two and a half percent of 1.45, the 1.45 is what? Is total revenues of about 2019. Oh, you. Uh, I'm, you just I'm just wondering what we're really talking about. Well, what's I'm not sure. I think you're. I'm not uh, sure. Maybe confusing. Confusing. Yeah. The, uh, but what? Our revenues if we, were if we, what, 13, how, 14 million. Our revenues are 14 million plus including new, local including new growth. Right. Yes, including new growth. And, and that's 80 percent of new growth, or 500 thousand no, dollars less. That's actual. Than. That's actual. New, new growth has nothing to do with the local receipts. We're, okay. So how do you, what is it, how does it account for in this? It's chart? it's in your it's in the taxes. Taxes. It's already. In it's the in the tax, tax calculation. Yeah. I, maybe you can speak to that better than I can. It's please, in, but in this tax calculation in the sheet we got. So it's, so that your valuation. It's in this one here. No, I understand that. It's not in this one though. So, yes, because so. It's here, and we've used these numbers. Well, and, and uh, we did use actual collections, but still, uh, yeah, basically, it's in those numbers. Yeah, I don't think I don't. Um, think we, it's not separated out here. No, right. What the actual revenues? No, were. that was where I, because, because that's where I'm missing. Right, because this includes free cash revenue that we used last year and everything else. Yes. Right. So it's not individual. Uh, you can't use the uh, one four one fourteen million, whatever it was. You can't use that number. No. He used this number here. One. What's on here, right? That's what I, I'm just times two and a half percent. Take the taxes times two and a half percent. Yeah, that's that, how much yeah, more we would, can spend. Yeah, that one would work. That's that's, that, that's how much more we can spend, assuming local receipts and the other stuff stays the same. Oh, uh, eighty percent stays the same. No. Plus, we've added five hundred thousand dollars to local receipts. This number right here includes new growth. Which one? Million. Which one? The, the ten million nine hundred ninety-five thousand includes new growth. It includes new growth at the same basic level. In other words, on an annual basis, the ability to raise taxes is three three hundred forty-two thousand dollars. That includes the two and a half percent, and it includes new growth. That's it correct. It does not exclude include debt exclusion. So we're working off of ten million, almost eleven million dollars. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. in in taxes. In taxes, and that's what in property, and, with real estate, real estate, property tax. That's and what personal property. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then that includes the new growth. Yeah. Yes. And that figure is one of these A, B, C, X, Y, Z numbers. Yeah. Uh, the so the, the number so that you're the growth is three hundred and forty-two thousand. Is it M? Mm -hmm. No, that's that's. That That's includes the median of what we the do. difference between the total taxes collected yep. one year and the total taxes collected the next year. That's the mean. It's pretty yes. close to two hundred thousand, excluding not not including debt exclusion. Okay, so, so pretty uh, close to two hundred thousand, right, Skip? What's that? The new growth factor for no. two thousand and twenty. No, no. no. The, I, no. I think it's more like a hundred thousand. So, so Bruce, what each happens year, is each year is hundred thousand certifies new growth and they say okay this is your new growth number yes. right. so okay. we take last year's taxes plus the two and a half percent plus the new growth number the and that gets spread out amongst the the, the assessed values that's so that so it it becomes part of the tax base yeah, so that's why uh assessments went up and taxes went down well and the, and that's and that's why it, correct um but that's but that's also why um, oh shoot I lost my train of thought. Right, that's the first sign of Alzheimer's, but don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you. Don't remember. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Where we're heading. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I, like, oh, I, out, I, I know what I was going to say. That's also why you're you're when you're looking at the increase in in the tax levy <laughs> every year, it's more than two and a half percent. It's yes. up four <coughs> percent, right, and it's up. Right. Because of new growth. Right. Correct. Right. Understood. Right. And that, that's what I was trying to get at. What number are we working off of? And it's taxation. Yeah, and, it, and it's hard to know. You, you won't know 
The, the yeah, issue, the top the, one is taxes. Property tax. Property tax. Property tax and, and yeah. So we Personal know what we're, what our taxation is for 2019. Yeah, yeah. You, you just you got, got your bill right there. 1591. You, that's yeah. right. In 2020. Right, right here. It's right there. You got the projected. With yeah. The, They're both the projected. With, with an estimated new growth. Is an estimated yeah, because you won't know what fiscal year 20 uh, new growth is going to be until next November right. or next October. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The year after, I mean, after the town meeting. So. Right. And the assessors do estimate of new growth and certified by DOR? I'm not sure who who leads the train on it, but it's on, what, the, new on the new growth. Well, uh, what's the question? Who, 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 is, who estimates the new growth? Isn't that the assessor? Well, that, that's work, working with the assessor. <coughs> that's yeah. okay. okay. Well, I don't do anything with well, new growth, yeah. but... You know, but there again, it's done on a conservative basis because they're they again, do it in the assessor's office that's and that's they right. look for concurrence. Right. Okay. But, uh, well, I don't do anything. They still, they look for concurrence from BOA. Right. Is it's, what they it's do. A, it's right. a very conservative number. It has to be. And there again, it, it, what's happened is uh, um, our, our new growth has been almost all personal property year after year because there has been very little. And that and right. unfortunately, that's part that. and parcel. The new growth is basically. A lot of that new growth that we're getting every year, because all the personal property is five-year depreciable or less, is offsetting a lot of the depreciated value uh, from the previous year. So we're not getting the two hundred and sixty thousand dollar value of right. that dollar. We're probably getting less than half of it because uh, because this is all, all uh, uh, five-year depreciable property. Okay. It's not real estate and uh, that has a long-term value. It's going to be recurring. Yeah, new new growth last. Let's see, FY18 was 171, 171, and it, it was 84, 960, and 19. Yeah. But it's, it's a well, that was the estimate for 19. Oh, that was but estimate. 19 ended up being at oh, what was it? 179,000. Right. Oh, okay. I thought it was 160 or 170. I can't remember. I have it on the on the new that was an printout. Estimate. But okay, and and we used all, I believe we used all of it as far as calculating. Uh, we had we had very little excess capacity. There yeah. might have been mm -hmm. there yeah. less than five thousand. Yeah, this year. Yeah, yeah. I, I see the well, nineteen. We have it. But the growth is two sheets now. Yes, we and do. I, that's what I was getting. At. Right. I couldn't make the correlation. Now I I was bringing down. I made the correlation. Now I can see. Exactly. Right. That's good. Thank you for the total levy that we can raise taxes. This year, he said, which includes the ability of the town to increase using crop two and a half. Yeah, which is already built into this. Well, no, that's substantially more. I don't know what is it. Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars, and we're at we're at sixteen. We're fifteen. So we've got nine dollars. That we could increase the tax rate if we wanted to lose our heads. And unfortunately, there are cities and towns right now, I believe Longmeadow is one, Holyoke is approaching it, that are that have had to go on into what is needed, not what is wanted, because they've hit the twenty-five dollar mark. Yeah. There's a few towns right around here that are very close. You know. For what we got coming due the next bunch of years, mm -hmm. there's no question. We could, about we could be we pushing could the envelope. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the proposition two and a half is is designed to fail sooner or later. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, they it's, don't address that again. Are we going to get back to your vote? So I have, a, I have one other thing. As long as we have one of the prominent select board right members right here. Well, I don't know about prominent, but and, I'm here. Uh, but I just think that maybe we ought to just uh, touch on it uh, because on your agenda for tomorrow night is voting to put on a um, uh, deleting the farm excise tax. And I guess if we had a lot of money, that's fine, but we're already talking how far in debt we are. And, the farm uh, excise tax only brings in about 5000 every year. Well, I understand that. It's only okay. 5000 but every other taxpayer has to make up that 5000 Dog licenses it's only, only bring in... only a dollar person. Do, dog licenses only bring in 4000 I mean, you know, so, uh, you know, if you say, well, it's only this, it's only that. And uh, uh, so I'm just, you know, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to see what the finance uh, 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 committee felt about... Uh, uh, the select board su supporting a, uh, you know, I don't know where they will or won't uh, vote for it, 
but uh, what their feeling is about losing a, another source of revenue. And who wants to jump in? We're waiting. <laughs> I know. I know my particular. Is, is all in here again. I kind of spit it out right yes, now. You say so you want to move uh, away from. <laughs> you know, it's. Uh, it, it is a source of revenue. Uh, you know, I. You know, and I don't mean to pick on anybody, but you know, they, they don't pay sales tax. They get eighteen or twenty cents rebate on their uh, fuel tax. If they apply for the farm plate, they don't pay the excise off the, on vehicles. I mean, <coughs> and they don't make any money. Why, who's making, who's making <laughs> right. the request? Uh, don't I don't know. It's, going, it's on the uh, it's on the uh, select board agenda. I for realize that, but I, I and I, I personally I personally think if it, if, if, if uh, individuals want to do it, uh, I, I I think they should bring it to as a citizen petition and not put the select board in a position to uh, have to uh, 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 either accept or reject. Uh, you know, uh, I think whether it was, it was, you know, it's they lose the uh, revenue source. I don't me. No. So, yeah, I, I'm, think, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that request is coming from the assessors. I, I think it, it, it probably I think. would have to come from the assessors. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I remember Karen talking about that. I think. Does that they gain? I mean, does it cost more work for them to calculate all that than they get? Oh. Well, it does on their lower end property, personal property too. Yeah. So, so I'd like yeah. to know the reason, I would reasoning too. for it. I would like to see why they picked right. that one versus one of the other. Right, compared to the all the rest value. of them. The, the, reason, the reason being is if you go back several years, if, if you went to the town meetings, there was a, what do they call the end? Right to farm law? No, a, a recommendation the to the select board or to the yeah. town officers or something. Yeah that the uh, uh, select board uh, uh, do something about that farm animal mm -hmm. excise, which is an allowance in the back of loss. Okay, and I'm assuming evidently some individuals brought it forward for the select board agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and there again, uh, it's out their choice, but they can either vote to have it on the agenda or they can vote not to have it on, and not to do it and let it be brought forward. I, is a citizen petition, I believe. So, so I, I just, I just want somebody else to put I would, there. Yeah, wait, so whether they support right. a, a, a loss of revenue or not, right. to support a loss of revenue. Got to go to the selectman's meeting tomorrow night. Oh, why? Well, I, I, I would think myself personally, I'd like to get more information on it yeah. and be educated a little bit more before I commit one way or another. It's and, a, but I do agree with Bruce that. Uh, you know, you hate to lose revenue sources, especially with what we have coming down the road here that we know we're going to have to face. I mean, we have some major, major expenses coming down the road, but I'd, I'd like to myself personally be educated about it a little bit more uh, before I could make a decision one way or the other. And maybe the select board will feel the same way too and mm -hmm. just put it on hold, table it for a while so, so people could become aware of why it's there and, and Trevor, you may have some ideas as far as the assessor's office and that, but I, I think it just needs to be looked at a little more closely, uh, myself yeah, I, personally. I think I agree with that sentiment. I, um, I mean, I understand the need. The need is our farmers are suffering, and, um, and, and you just can't make money farming anymore, and it's really tough, and I, I hate to see, you know, any more farms close. Um, you're right. I mean, why this and not another? Uh, it is good points. Um, I think one of the reasons was to get it on the select board to start that discussion about it. So I don't, I don't know if a vote will be taken tomorrow, but um, you know, I think it's important to get to get it out there and start discussing. It. I, I've heard it. Um, you know, it wasn't my agenda, but I, I have heard people talking about it. I know Carolyn has mentioned it, and I can't remember. I do believe it was brought forward. At, at, you're right at a town meeting at one point. It, and, it's a Recommendation. Yep. Officers. And um, yeah, so I haven't made my mind up on it, but I, I'll probably get a little more information about it hopefully tomorrow night. And, it uh, is it is a substantial break because they were getting a rate of fifteen ninety one. The farm and animal X rays rate is five dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's already a highly discounted rate to begin with. So it's uh, and and so it's so it's approximately it's approximately uh, it's. The valuation on the farming equipment is around five thousand dollars, a little over. So it'd be valuation right now is about a million bucks, mm -hmm. so or a hundred thousand at five dollars. 
if there'll be the valuation be a million bucks. That Does it ultimately go to the town people to vote? Y yeah. Town meeting? Yeah. Because I'd want to see that. I think it's I either too. the town either supporting the farmers or they're not. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Yep. I just think that more education would be always good. very beneficial right now always for good. a lot of people to, under, yeah. to actually understand it. And yeah. maybe get somebody from the assessors that have mm -hmm. mentioned this to come and speak on the issue as well. I have a general question. Um, last year there was a list of new um, initiatives prepared by one of the select board members. Is any of those new initiatives going to be included in this year's budget? Does anyone know? I've got my own initiatives, but I don't know how they stack up with that list. <laughs> talking about, I, those were capital items. Some of them are yes. capital yeah. items. Yeah. I, um, so I'm going to get I a don't sign know. Has, any, has anything been put up right behind here you. that says, you know, no, if, you've got, no if you've got some new initiatives or you, Let's then see. you need to tell us where the money's coming from. Exactly. Yeah. I agree 100%. You guys got to tell me where the money's coming from. I'll tell you what I need. You guys say, what can we afford it and where the money's coming from. No, we can't from. afford it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, get, then nobody gets to flush the toilet. Uh, I know where there's 16000 <laughs> Yeah, you can. <laughs> no. We're all coming to Bruce's house. So, so, <laughs> so, so Trevor, Here you go. I know where there's $16,000 that we can, we can get yeah? our fingers Good on. luck. <laughs> from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> I waited three years to get that Either extra way, grand. Either way, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, All right. So, if there's nothing else, so we're going to talk I mean, about your your initiative of trying to get. All the department heads down here. Yeah. Oh, I thought we did. We did, but who's going to do it? Talked about it, but uh, I'll I'll talk with the with the town office one day. Somebody. So you're going to set that up and just let us know when it is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'll set up as a finance committee meeting. Yeah. So. so our next meeting will be after the first of the year. So you get budget January 3rd. Well, that's what well, we're I, Yeah. The likelihood of having the, uh, the budget obviously is uh, slim to none, but. Oh. By January 3rd? I, I'll give you, I'll make sure that we've got the finance committee budget. How's that? <laughs> that's a good start. Good, I, that's a example. good start. <laughs> Lead by example, right? Lead by example. <laughs> but if we could shortly after the first of the year have all this meeting, have this meeting, then I think it would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Can we keep it on Tuesday night? Is, is Tuesday night okay with everybody? I prefer to switch to Wednesday if we can, but if we can't, then... Oh, Wednesday's okay, too. Wednesday, we run for the select. I was going to say, right. and I can't Bump do Wednesdays. No, we go in the other room. Well, if we have a select meeting... can have the room here, or we can put the selectmen back there. That's where the food is. We took the priorities. <laughs> priorities. <laughs> They only take it away when the finance committee comes. Yeah, they put it high there. Yeah, they leave it out. Yeah. <laughs> the, only, the only thing with doing that at the same time with the select, the select board meetings is if some of us want to attend right. some yeah. of those select mm. board meetings, we can't be two places at once. I know that was a, a kind of a frustration point last year with, I think, right. Wendy wanted to be able to attend some of the meetings as well. but. But I'll leave that There's up plenty of meetings to come into. <laughs> we did it? Yeah, we did. No, these last two have been we very went, good. We didn't have uh, the selectmen's meeting tonight, so that's yep. why we had the finance committee meeting. Perfect. When, uh, when do you hope to have all the department heads and come in for the presentation? That should be pretty First soon, right? January. I was thinking, too. It should be yeah. real quick. That Quickly, was, yes, because yeah. they're, they're working hard on their budgets now. Mm -hmm. Uh, I got John's budget already, so. I was say he's probably got his budget. Yeah. 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 Mr. Overachiever. He had it done last year. <laughs> Ask him for next year's He's got next year's already. That won't be final until they get the wage negotiation, right? I don't know when that'll happen. No. 
that that might not happen until right. I, I'm thinking yeah. that doesn't happen yeah. until yeah. Yeah. spring like the first year yeah that's but that's yeah I think they that's why it was the, what 22,000 I last tell you that the yeah. likelihood of uh, the school committees negotiating a contract before the end of February yeah, is not nil. likely okay yeah that's okay so okay. Um, then they would propose no increase in budget no, that's not true. They usually buffer yeah. by putting something in. They'll put something in. They yes. run away on that. Sure. And yeah. typically they try, they try to, to They try, try to and either it. guess it or make it high. They, they try Last year was 2%. The year before was 2%. What's that? Last year was 2% increase. The budget? No, the salaries. No. Plus Quinville. Oh, for the? Please. So the deer and their Quinn, the Quinn went up quite a bit. Went up, well, went up two percent for the yeah, elementary. Oh, I was going to say the Quinn with with the contract, the Quinn went up quite a bit. But okay. I from previous, what's yeah. that? And Trevor, was you looking oh, at the I elementary? Was, yeah, elementary. So the schedule uh, we got tonight. We're, we're going to have a meeting on the eighth of January. We kind of moved it from the second to, to begin the budget deliberations. Um, the sixth will deliberate. February, March, we present the budget to the town. March 6, we vote, public hearing and vote. So that's about where that calendar came out. But the capital improvement committee the is going to have a meeting next to week, get their and we'll move that along as quickly as we yeah. can. Good idea. Yeah. So we'll see what we have for requests. We did have a, we did have a, or I've got a, an email which comes or a memo that comes from the tech school do they does the tech school do we want to have a tech school come and talk to us about their budget and the tech school for all the years that I've dealt with them I've always thought that their budget was right on track yeah. without a problem even their capital that they did it, that everything that they've done is very professional do on track group. and they can justify every damn penny They've got 25 towns that, uh, so if, if we if we wanted to try to get them to reduce their budget, it wouldn't happen. Snowball chance and yeah, yeah. Mr. so they've been very good over the I years. Will, so I have. agree, John. I will give Russ a call and tell him thank you for <coughs> please please come to town meeting in, in April. And they yeah. usually do level funding. They usually yeah. do. Yeah, we we are asking for level funding. Nice. We're asking for. Our, um, what's the word we use? <laughs> Plus two percent. Level funding. Uh, level budget said. plus two and a half. Yeah. With, uh, level services budget. That's what we. That's what the memo was. Right. Yes. Level service, or we could ask for a level budget with no, with a no a maximum increase of two and a half, which Bruce proposed. If we're going to send a letter to the tech school, I'll, I'll call us. The tech school oftentimes reduces their budget. I, I think one, of, one on of the last couple students. of years, it, it, that's why. That's right. Yeah. If a few less students, that yeah. budget goes down. Right. right. That's why I said, never had a problem with it. Right. Yeah. Never. Never can really tell what their increase is either because the, the kids are. Right. Mm -hmm. So since we agree, I'll make a motion to adjourn. We can set a date. It's going to be Tuesdays. Yeah, we Tuesdays. Tuesdays a problem for. I'll make all those I can. Mm -hmm. When I take a three-week vacation, I'm not coming back. For th after three weeks or for three weeks, you're not coming back. For those three weeks, and oh, every okay. now and then I'll miss one in between. What three weeks? Just call in, John. We'll put you on speaker. Yeah, we'll put you on so video. video. Like they do in Wayland. You know, Lawrence Welk in the background. And, right. and, 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 right. and you January. didn't want to switch it to Wednesdays. Who put Wednesdays? you on video, too? Pardon? You didn't want to switch it to Wednesdays? To Wednesdays? No, no, I believe Because we're going to put you yeah. on the phone. Right, that's why. Conflict yeah. with the slot. Yeah, on my flip yeah phone. which makes perfect flip sense. <laughs> so. And don't forget, and when you do that, you have to have all the same materials in front of you. Yeah. I mean, you've got to yeah, bring yeah. your printer down there so, you can print all the same stuff. So if the school committee's meeting on January 8th, why don't you mm -hmm. meet on the 15th, which would be the following Tuesday? And have the all the departments in. Meeting. What's oh. that? 
Should be before they have their yeah, meeting. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably meet before. That. Just in December. Well, New Year's Day is the is the Tuesday before that. All right. Is the Tuesday before and the fifteenth? Yeah. And then not. the twenty. No, before the eighth. Before the eighth. <laughs> the only one's Christmas. <laughs> So you meet next week. Right. <laughs> exactly. Don't, Chris, Christmas Day. How's that? Come That's quick. Honest. It's okay. coming quick. Okay. Uh, we'll come up with something. <clears throat> okay. I'll move. You moved. Is there a Wait second? A second. Seconded. All those in favor of returning? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Stay here. If you want. All right. It's exactly Trevor. eight. Good job. Thank you, Trevor. We are. Thank you.